expecting you. Would you take this through, please? So, we're facing a major crisis here. Ah, Lust, it's about time you dragged yourself out of your bondage chamber. I've assembled the core team. I trust you know everyone. Wrath, greed. That hell pizza special will be for me. And bad old Judas, who no one trusts. Everyone, this is Lust. It vexes me no end to say. Recent trends in the market survey shows a dramatic downturn in the share for the company. We've all taken a hit here. Not only are killings down, but we've got kick-ass security systems wiping out all the thieves. We can't even get one decent bird flu virus off the ground. And even the Catholics are using condoms. Sales a bit limp, are they, darling? The world has gone PC. People just aren't sinning the way they used to. We need sinners, and we need them now. So if we can't get back on track pronto, Big Bad, Be Easel Bob, will send us all to her. Will send us all to her. Send us all to where the sun always shines. He wouldn't, would he? Not us. He wouldn't Will let... you stop? Unless you've got a point to make, just shut the hell up. Enough! We've got to come up with a way to get more people to commit more sins. Proper sins. The big seven. I blame those stoner soothsayers down in level three in the prophecy department. They snort a kilo of coke and come up with sky-high projections we can't meet. We've got 48 hours to come up with a new strategy to increase our market share. I thought we'd done so well, what with prolific internet porn. And what about all our work with George Bush and Tony Blair? Well, what about handguns and high schools? Hey, hey. They're certainly helping the world to its destruction, but not fast enough for the boss. People today prefer to watch sin, and they're not getting out and sinning. We need to get them off their couches and out and about in the real world committing acts of evil. Sounds like one of those perfectly awful get active and lose weight campaigns. We need to take a review. A global review of new worldwide markets. Right, worldwide. What have we got in the works that'll give us a good and speedy payoff? What about America? We've got those reality TV shows good to go. Slow death to watch an absolute hell for the contestants. Yeah, it's a slow and steady approach. But the Bible Belt TV evangelists are making a comeback. What about arranging a massive suicide pact? Worked well with the Joneses. No, we haven't got time to arrange a suicide cult. So, America's out. What about Australia? There's millions of them ripe for it. Every last one of them drinks, gambles, Swear. Absolutely impossible to find a virgin to corrupt. So how are we going to get them to commit more sins? False gods? No. Already got them. They're called sports heroes. OK, what about New Zealand? Pointless. There's only four million of them. And they're either going green or smoking green. And the rest live in high hill country with girlfriends called Barbara. OK. Well, we're, we're still quite strong in Africa. What with devil worship and blood diamonds and tribal massacres? <laughs> the Lord's resistance army. Another brilliant idea of mine. I think you'll find it was my... What was that, Jesus boy? I was just saying that it's my belief that it was also a good idea. Well, that leaves China. Hey, why not? They're halfway there. They've got materialism, exploitation and pollution. Not a bad place to live, really. They have no religion. What do they worship? Eight. What the hell are you talking about? In China, the number eight sounds like the word for wealth. So it's super lucky, right? I don't see what this has got to do with what it's we... It's simple. Remember how many Chinese weddings there were at eight past eight on the 8th of the 8th, 1988? Millions. We can use the number eight to make them unlucky to make them sin. So just how are we going to do it, you harlot? Create a glowing eight that they can all pray to? Oh, educate. What are we going to do today? 
Precisely. We get the number eight to tell them to do things, evil things, and we'll use this, the magic eight ball. There's already millions in existence. All we have to do is swap the good ones with the evil ones. Try it. Ask it a question. The soothsayers are trying to take over. What should I do? Kill them all and take over. Hmm, my thoughts exactly. It's a bit one-dimensional, isn't it? It's only a prototype, you moron. We can make it say anything we like. There's plenty of room for... group sodomy, and then killing them all. You evil bitch. It's so simple it'll work. We've got all the infrastructure in place. Far easier than playing a Led Zeppelin record backwards. <laughs> I almost feel contented. No, strike that. We haven't shown his evilness. Relax. You'll think it's the best thing since sliced Christians. How about a bit of group sex to celebrate? <laughs> Gabriel, Judas, yeah, do you want to know the latest, mate? <laughs> no, 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 it's going to cost you a bit more than 30 pieces of silver this time. We're talking 50 pieces of silver and full forgiveness.